So today we're going to talk about what we are reading in August. I feel like it's it's been a long time since we've been in the house and reading, so... We've, we're, we've got a lot of things on the list. Right. But exactly. we're also starting, I'm like, I'm starting to run out of things in a You're way. not. I You're feel really like not. it, but... <laughs> I have many more She I has a lot you. of stuff she can just hand me out. <laughs> just read this. <laughs> uh, so yes, we're going to be talking about what we're going to be reading in August. Some things we're both reading and some things I'm just reading. So why don't we start with the things that we are both reading. The first one is In an Absent Dream by Shauna McGuire. And of course, this is the fourth mm -hmm. book in the Wayward Children series. And you said you were going to reread Come Tumbling Down now right. that you've gotten through the series and you're like, oh, now it makes sense. Exactly. So I'm going to reread that, even though that was the first one I read and it really is book five. So we're both going to be, I might be rereading that as well, so that's five. The other book we're reading together is also a Sean and McGuire book called Middle Game. And that one I have been hearing a lot about. And then I saw it was like two bucks on Amazon and I was like, yeah, that's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So we're reading that one as well. So I'm going to go and jump into review and then we'll kind of circle back to personal books that we're reading after that. My uh, book club is doing a Jeopardy event this month and I have already started because it is August 2nd when we are filming this. I've already started with my prompt and I am reading Roanoke Girls. Uh, I can't remember who writes it right now but I am a little ways in and um it is interesting I, my prompt was that I had to read something from Jacqueline from Weeby Bookin's favorites of mm -hmm. thrillers of all time that she's read and I hadn't read that one yet so I thought it's a really good opportunity to read that and uh, other than that I don't really know what other books I'm going to be reading for book club it might fall under things that I'm already reviewing and it might not but I will definitely touch on that during our TBR. The other book that I'm reading for book club I'm doing a buddy read for Arch Enemies which is the second book in the Renegade series and I did really like Renegades I thought it was like a really interesting read so I I'm happy to be reading this one. I hope I can get through it because it is kind of a larger book uh, even though I can read it in like chunks because I have to read like a quarter of it every week for the buddy read I still feel like it's hard for me to keep up with it because of all the other books I'm reading So those are the only two I have for book club this month now I want to talk about uh, the books I'm reading for review. I'm just going to list them off. I'm not going to like describe them or anything because there's a lot of them this month. And uh, as you know, I usually do not finish about four or five of them. So uh, keeping that in mind, uh, you can see all of the book reviews as they happen on this channel as well as during the TBR. But I have 10 thrillers that I am reading this month. I have Lies, Lies, Lies. The Night Swim, Convince Me, Some Ladies Died, but you can't guess why I uh, requested that one to review, <laughs> um, The Girls Weekend, Somewhere in the Dark, We Are All the Same in the Dark, I don't know what it is about the dark, <laughs> Three Perfect Liars, Love Sold Separately, You Can Trust Me, and Two Widows. So those are the 10 thrillers that I'm reading. I'm also reading two contemporary or women's fictions. One is called Musical Chairs and the other is called Here to Stay. The uh, five young adult books that I'm reading this month are Keep My Heart in San Francisco, The Scam List, Chasing Starlight, Where Dreams Descend, and The Assignment. And that is it for all the books that I am doing for a review. Are you ready to talk about personal, personal books? Okay. Why don't you start? One was the ones that I've had in our library for a while, I just haven't actually gotten to it, is Drew Hayes's Forging Hephaestus. It's very much in line with his other um, superhero books, but it's not in the same universe. And also while I'm doing uh, Forging Hephaestus, I'm gonna be going through Truly Devious as well as Middle Game. Um, so we'll see how those turn out. The Truly Devious is one that I read uh, during the month of uh, July, and I'll, we'll talk to you about that more in the other review videos, but um, it is a book that, a book series I've had on my shelf for like six months, and I had never read it, and I don't know why, and I really loved it, so I was like, Marshall, you need to read this, because it's kind of like a murder mystery, but it's more of a young adult murder mystery, so it's very, it's very cool and interesting. 
um, the way that it is portrayed. Okay. I've also got some comic books. Uh, there's the Teen Titans Raven, which is before the Teen Titans Beast Boy that we've already done a review of. Corey is also going to be grabbing me uh, the Batman comic book of his early years. And if I do run out of books, which I don't think I will, we've also got Mythos, uh, which is written by Stephen Fry, and it's also being narrated by Stephen Fry, that uh, we have in my library, and I think I'd like to take a look at that. Uh, so personally for me, I am reading the second book in the Truly Devious series, which is called The Vanishing Stair. Um, Marshall did two books last month that I couldn't read, so I'm doing those. It's The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and Horror Store, both of which I will be doing a Lady Catches Up review video once those are done. Um, of course, we already said middle game. I'm also reading American Royals by Catherine McGee. I have, uh, have this like literally in my library for a very long time, but I never read it and now the second book is coming out this fall, so I really want to read that one. Um, hashtag Fashion Victim is another book I've had in my library for a while and I would really like to finally get around to reading that one. And then the last book is called Maud. It is a uh, retelling imagined story about Lucy Maud Montgomery and that is the writer of Anne of Green Gables which is one of my favorite books of all time and I uh, got this book as part of I think the Paper and Glam book club was doing it and I heard about it so I put it on my list and purchased that to read as well. So those are all those books that I am reading for August. Of course we might be getting some other books to read. I have I think One to Watch, Mexican Gothic, Get a Life Chloe Brown also. Those are all coming um, either from Swaps or Book of the Month. So I don't know when I'm going to read those, but hopefully hopefully soon. Um, but yeah, that is our August TBR. That didn't take as long as I thought it was going to no, take. It, it really was very didn't. great. Um, but you'll probably get like a stroke from all the book titles flashing right here, right? But thank you so much for watching and until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.